Hello students and parents, this is Jeff Frame, school counselor at North Ohio High School. I'm recording a video to show you quickly how to book an appointment with me. I do appointments via my online appointment system, which I'll show you when you go to the North Ohio High School website, which is nths.ttusd.org. You'll see this homepage, and at the top, this is a new homepage if you've been here before, so in this year that's it's been updated. So at the top you see a programs link. When you hover over that, and this is very similar on the on your mobile device as well, you'll see the NTHS counseling link right here. All right, we're going to click on that link and it's going to take you to the next page. And very easily on the left hand menu, you'll see the second link down says make a school counseling appointment. When you click on that, it's going to take you to this page. Okay, and the first question it's going to ask is select a duration. All right, the default is 15 minutes but it gives you a whole range of times that you might need to meet. So you need to kind of figure out how long will this meeting actually take. Um, give yourself a few, about 10 minute buffer zone because I often find that meetings tend to run a little bit long. All right, so if you think that it might take 15 minutes, it might be best to book a 30 minute appointment. And you just select that and click next. What it's going to give you after that is the options available to you. So you can see we're right now in December and you can click on any of these dates that are white. The grayed out dates are dates that either have passed or I don't have any availability for. So if we wanted to meet, I could select the 15th and it'll show you all the times in, uh, available on that specific date. It's going to ask you, as you can see up here, to select three different times that work best for you. So please select three different times, and my suggestion is also to select one or two different dates. Sometimes dates end up filling up with some uh, meetings that are unavoidable. So if I have a couple different dates to offer you, or that you offer to be able to meet at, I can be a little more flexible in terms of when we can set up that meeting. And so if I wanted to say meet in the afternoon, I could select those two. I could go to the next day. We don't have any afternoon time, so maybe I could go on the 14th and I have a 1.30 or 1.45. So you see that you have two different dates and it shows you all of the selected times down here. At the top, you can click right and go into January. It will go out to a certain date in the future and then it will stop. It won't let you book like six months in advance. But you can see different dates. And again, Tuesdays, you know, on this Tuesday the 10th, I'm not available. Either I'm out of the office or I have schedules or appointments already booked for that day. You can, you can pick as many as you want. I've seen people submit multiple days, whatever makes your life easy. Please select at least three times and I would suggest multiple dates. Once you do that, hit next. And it's gonna ask you to fill in some very basic information regarding your meeting. All right, so subject, what is this meeting about? So I might say college planning. And I always suggest if it's a parent making an appointment, enter your student's name too. Enter your name. Enter your email, okay, and enter your phone number. I asked for your email because it, it sends out an automated update. Um, this is simply a request the first time you submit this. I'm going to get a, a, an email from my scheduling system and I'll actually set one of those dates that you've selected or request different times if none of them end up working. But you'll get a confirmation email within a couple days, typically pretty quickly, saying which time and date you should be coming to your appointment at. If for some reason I ask for your phone number here because if I am sick or if something comes up, I'm, I need to possibly reach out to you quicker. Um, so having a phone number that might be the best to contact you at regarding your appointment is very helpful there. Okay, you can add your mobile, but typically most people enter that there. And any notes, say, you know, I, my husband will be joining me. I don't want the student at this meeting. Um, will, you know, please contact me before the meeting or so on and so forth. You'll hit done. And I will probably get a little notification down here showing me that I have a new request. Okay, but you can see the time submitted. You will also get an email uh, confirming that the request was successfully submitted. And then after that, you will get a follow-up email um, saying this is something, you know, we, we've, we've set at your appointment. And then about 24 hours in advance, you'll get a reminder. So if we've set this a couple of days in the future, you will get a reminder that your appointment is coming up. Please show up about five minutes before your appointment slot and check in with Cindy at the front office, and then we'll call you back. Simple as that. If you have any other questions about setting your appointment, or if you have a complicated request, feel free to reach out via phone, but this is the primary way that we set appointments um, for counseling appointments. Uh, the phone number here is 530-581-7003, and my email is also listed down here as well. There are a few instructions here, and if you do need Spanish translation, that's also information is also available there. So I look forward to meeting with you in the future, and hopefully this system is useful and easy for you.